Monica, I'm being serious. Get the hell out of my house. We are getting a divorce, and I can't stand the sight of you for another minute. If there's even a tiny bit of decency left in you, do the right thing and leave the house for good. Nicholas, sweetheart, I'm a bit confused. Have I done something to upset you? Why are you springing this bombshell on me out of the blue? Oh, come on. Trying to act clueless won't work here. You know exactly what I'm talking about. No need to play games. Nicholas, I honestly have no idea. Please, just explain to me why you're talking about evicting me from our home. I can say with absolute certainty that I haven't done anything that could possibly hurt you. My mom spilled the beans on everything. You've been cheating on me with another man this whole time? I can't freaking believe you'd be that kind of person, Monica. What the hell happened to all those promises you made on our wedding day? Now you're just going to throw them out the window like it's no big deal? I've completely lost all of my trust in you. Wait, what? Your mom told you that I've been cheating on you? That's absolute nonsense. I have no idea what she said to you, but it's completely untrue. I swear, I've never cheated on you with anyone. Those thoughts never even crossed my mind. I'm your wife, and you have to believe me. No point in denying it, Monica. I saw it all with my own eyes, thanks to my dear mom who handed me all the evidence of your little flings. And when I say evidence, I'm talking about those dirty pictures of you all cozy and happy with your secret lover. Honestly, you make me sick to my stomach, Monica. It's hard to believe that you're the same person I've been sharing my life with for the past three freaking years. What pictures are you talking about? I genuinely don't understand, Nicholas. Can we please have a proper face-to-face -face conversation instead of discussing this over text? It's important for us to talk openly and directly about whatever is going on. Still trying to play dumb, huh? Well, take a good long look at the pictures I just sent you. Kissing, walking hand in hand, and all that disgusting affection. Simply repulsive. I'm starting to wonder if I'm even your husband anymore, or if he's taken my place. Huh? Where did you even get these pictures from? Okay, yes, it's me and those pictures. But they were taken ages ago when I was still dating my ex-boyfriend, Lucas. You know very well that I've moved on from that relationship a long time ago. Oh, really? Then explain these pictures to me. Where do you think my mom got them from? Are you keeping them as some precious keepsake from your former love affair with that jerk? You still love him, don't you? Well, maybe we should just get a divorce so you can be free to go back to your dear ex-boyfriend, right? I'm done being played like a fool. I'm not an idiot, you know. Nicholas, please, just hear me out. I honestly have no idea where you got those photos from. But I swear, I've already deleted all of them from my phone. I don't have any pictures of him in my photo album either. You know better than anyone how things ended between me and Lucas, right? It was a terrible chapter in my life. And honestly, I'd rather not talk about it. Can we please find a way to resolve this misunderstanding? Oh, please. More lies. More deceit. As if anyone would buy into those empty excuses of yours. Of course, no one in their right mind would admit to cheating on their partner, right? Spare me the charade, Monica. Let's just get divorced then. I refuse to be a fool any longer entertaining you and your secret lover. But Nicholas, I don't want us to get a divorce. Especially not like this. I can't help but wonder why you're so desperate to cling to this marriage when you clearly have no feelings left for me. Tell me. Is it because you're just after my mom's properties? Are you eagerly waiting for the day they pass away so you can steal their money and run off with your lover? What a venomous snake you've become. Wait, what? What's this now? Another round of baseless accusations that your mom has filled your head with? I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Whatever she's been telling you about me is completely false. I have never deceived you cheated on you with another man, or even thought about stealing your mom's money. You have to believe me, Nicholas. Enough with the lies, Monica. I've reached my limit. 
Do you honestly think I'm going to just stand by and watch as you scheme to harm my mother and take over her estate? Not a chance. Now, get out of my house, you snake. Hi. Fine. If that's truly what you want, then I don't have much else to say. If you're set on getting a divorce, then let's proceed with it, Nicholas. Hey, you pathetic daughter-in-law. Ready to finally get the hell out of my house? <laughs> Janessa, it's interesting how excited you seem about me getting divorced from Nicholas and leaving the house, isn't it? I can't help but wonder what lies you've been feeding him that have led to such a complete misunderstanding of who I am. Oh, I simply revealed to him your true evil intentions. The dark side of your personality. That's all. What are you even talking about? Did you tell Nicholas that I've been cheating on him? And where did you get those pictures of me and Lucas? I indistinctly remember deleting all of them. Oh, that's really not a big deal. I just happened to have some contact with your ex-boyfriend, Lucas. Believe me, it took me quite a while to dig into your personal life and get hold of Lucas' phone number. And let me tell you, he's still seething with anger when he talks about your breakup with him. So, when I suggested sabotaging your marriage with my son, Lucas was more than thrilled to jump on board and help me out. What? Are you saying it was Lucas himself who sent you those photos? That's right. It's such a brilliant plan of mine, isn't it? Look. Why don't you just let go of my poor son and go crawling back to Lucas? You know, he still pines for you, right? You two make such a perfect couple. A couple of losers! <laughs> Janessa, that's beyond despicable. I can't believe you're capable of such wickedness. And tell me, was it you the one who fabricated a story about me plotting to steal your properties? Honestly? That's the most absurd thing I've ever heard in my entire life. That's right. <laughs> Are you in awe of my mastermind skills? I orchestrated everything perfectly. I single-handedly manipulated my son into divorcing you. Just admit it. You got dumped like yesterday's trash. Shame on you. So, what are you waiting for? Gather up your pathetic belongings and get your ass out of my house, you miserable loser. Hi. Yeah, spare me the sarcasm in your kind words. I've already signed the divorce papers, and I'll be leaving this house soon. I just need a few more days to find a new place to live. That's the spirit. I knew from the beginning that you're nothing but bad luck. A curse for everyone around you, and I was absolutely right. Now... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to find Nicholas a new and healthy wife. Yeah, that's right. A wife who can actually give my son a happy life. Not like you. A worthless piece of trash who knows nothing but being a burden on society. What on earth are you talking about? Could you please just explain to me why you suddenly have this intense hatred towards me? Why all of a sudden did you go through all this trouble just to make Nicholas divorce me? Oh, now you're asking me that question, huh? Why don't you have the guts to finally spill the truth instead of hiding it like a coward? You filthy liar! Excuse me? But what truth are you referring to exactly? How dare you? The truth about that deadly disease you're carrying is undeniable. Admit it already. You're running out of time to live, aren't you? It's utterly despicable how you, a pitiful excuse for a human being, continue to hide that shocking truth from me and my son. How much longer do you plan on deceiving us, huh? H how did you find out about that? What's so difficult? I recently snuck into your room and stumbled upon the doctor's test results. So, tell me. You have breast cancer, don't you? You filthy pig! You're nothing but a burden, robbing my son of his precious time. How much longer did you plan on chaining him to your pitiful existence while you slowly drag yourself towards death? 
let Nicholas go so he can find a woman who is actually deserving of his time and resources. Oh, really? Who give you the authority to trespass into my personal space and violate my privacy like that? Let me make it clear. I have absolutely no intentions of concealing anything from Nicholas. I only received the test results a few days ago, and I needed some time to digest the information and figure out how to approach Nicholas without causing a sudden shock. Oh, please. Do you honestly think I'm foolish enough to fall for your pathetic lies? You deliberately concealed the truth from Nicholas because you wanted to trap my son in your clutches. You were well aware that if you two were to divorce, nobody would ever accept you as their spouse. Isn't that right? What a conniving and deceitful pig you truly are! It was a grave mistake on my part to have ever allowed your marriage with Nicholas in the first place. If I had known this day would come, I would have kicked you out of my house the moment a wretched piece of trash like you dared to step foot inside. So that's the reason by your relentless efforts to fabricate all those lies and false narratives? Just to manipulate Nicholas into divorcing me? All because I have breast cancer? It's truly revolting, Janessa. Just when I'm at my weakest and most vulnerable, you choose this opportunity moment to try and get rid of me? That's right. To me, you're all used up. You're only interested in sticking around my son so you can suck him dry of his money and have him foot the bill for your ridiculously expensive medical treatments in your dreams. So, figure it out yourself, you freak. Congratulations! You've officially been kicked out of my family. Consider yourself completely and utterly rejected. I can't forget how excited you were when Nicholas first introduced me to the family. You were all like, you guys are a match made in heaven and came up with all those fancy words. But now, I gotta ask, what was your deal back then? Were you genuinely happy for us or did you have some other ulterior motives? Yeah, that was back when your father's company went bankrupt and you turned into nothing more than a deadweight burden, drowning in your father's debt. I made every effort to persuade Nicholas to ditch you on the spot, but that stubborn fool completely disregarded my orders. Of course, Nicholas would decline that idea. He has always been a wonderful husband to me, and I have complete faith that he would never intentionally cause me any harm. What's currently happening between us is nothing but a misunderstanding. Actually, scratch that. It's all part of your cunning scheme. You're the one who has torn us apart with your lies and deceit. Oh, how delightful. My plans unfolded flawlessly and now you're on the verge of divorcing Nicholas. Don't you worry. My dying daughter-in-law, I'll find him a perfect wife in no time. Actually, I already have a few prominent names lined up. All from affluent families, of course. That's one of the top criteria for any girl who aspires to marry my son. You see? Face it, Monica. You've utterly lost this battle. So, hurry up and get the heck out of my house before I have to chase you away with a broom or a skillet. Nicholas, are you there? There's something important I want to talk to you about. What's up? If you're hoping to persuade me to let you to stay, you can save your breath. Because there's no way I'm gonna agree to that. It's done between us, Monica. Nicholas, please, listen to me carefully. I know this might be incredibly surprising, but none of these things your mom has been telling you are true. She confessed everything to me. She admitted orchestrating this entire situation. The truth is, there's no secret lover. And there's no scheme for me to take over your mother's assets. You have to trust me. Nicholas, I'm your wife, remember? We've been together for so many years and you know me better than anyone else. You know, I'm not the kind of person who would ever pull something like that, right? Yeah, sure. Like, I'm gonna believe another word you say. You're a cheater, a liar, and a heartless individual who's only interested in my mom's money. 
I deeply regret not following my mom's advice and dumping you when your father's company went under. I even helped out your dad by paying off his debts. You must think I'm a total idiot, don't you? Man, was I naive to trust you. Listen, please try to understand. You've got the whole situation twisted. I want you to know that I have never cheated on you, and I never will. To prove it, I have some screenshots of text messages where your mom confesses that she orchestrated this entire plot to push you into divorcing me. I'll send them to you right away. Enough with your charades, Monica. I don't want to hear a single word that comes out of your mouth, got it? My mom already warned me about your deceitful intentions. You're probably planning to send me some phony, manipulated images, claiming that it was my mom who texted you. You're nothing but a liar. Get lost. I don't need you in my life, okay? I placed my trust in you, and you shattered it into a million pieces. You're an awful woman and a terrible wife. I want a divorce, and I want it as soon as possible. All right. If that's truly what you want, then I won't continue trying to salvage your marriage. Now that it has come to this, there's something else I'd like to discuss with you. What else? Is there something else you've lied to me about as well? Honestly, my heart has had its fill of your lies and deceit, but go ahead and tell me anyway. I want to clear the air between us once and for all. Oh, Nicholas, I don't know how you'll react to this news, but I just received the test results from the doctors, and they inform me that I've been diagnosed with breast cancer. Wait, seriously? Are you still messing around? This is not the kind of thing to joke about, all right? Cancer is a serious matter, no laughing matter. Why on earth would you even think that I would lie about something as serious as this? It's disheartening that you would question my integrity. And you know what? That's precisely why your mom concocted the scheme to drive us apart. She believes that I won't be around for long and sees the opportunity to boom me out of the house for good. Are you like totally certain this isn't some twisted up joke you just came up with on the fly to get me all sympathetic and stuff? Just so you can convince me to call off the divorce and give you another shot? Hi. You know what, Nicholas? Whatever you think. Honestly, I've reached a point where I don't even care anymore. Let's just go ahead and finalize the divorce. At this stage, I don't have any expectations left. Hold up. Are you saying this for real? You're not even going to try to salvage this marriage? You're just going to let it slip away like that? I've already gone ahead and signed the divorce papers you handed me. So whenever you find the time, go ahead and submit them. Now, I have to head to the hospital for another checkup. Treatment is coming up, so I'll be quite occupied. I suggest you submit the divorce paper as soon as you can, so I don't have to deal with it anymore. It would be a relief to me. Wait, what? Are you seriously getting treatment for breast cancer? I mean... You're not messing around with me, right? Why would I ever joke about something as serious as having cancer? It's not something to play around with. Well, if you don't have anything else to say, I should probably get going. I suppose our next conversation will be in court, then? Wait, hold up. Monica, are you there? Please answer me, Monica. Monica. You parasite! Why haven't you packed your bags and left my house already? I know you've already divorced my son, haven't you? So why don't you hurry up and get your sorry self out of my house, you pathetic loser? Listen up, I know you're gonna die and be tossed aside like a filthy rat. So I want you to vanish from my sight as soon as possible, okay? You know what, Janessa? It's actually you who needs to leave, not me. It seems like you've completely forgotten whose house you're staying in, huh? Well, let me remind you that it's my husband and my house. You have absolutely no authority to dictate what I should or shouldn't do. What? What the hell are you talking about? The owner of this house is me and my son. You have no right to be here. You're nothing but a despicable liar who's on the verge of dying. So get the hell out. 
I don't want a cursed rat like you dying in my house. It'll only bring bad luck to me and my son. Got it? I already told you, Janessa. It's actually you who needs to leave, not me. I thought Nicholas has already made it abundantly clear to you. Huh? I swear, I don't know anything. My son didn't bother mentioning a thing to me. Wait, maybe he did mention it. I vaguely remember him mumbling something about packing up and leaving. But honestly, I didn't pay much attention. I was too busy getting all thrilled about the thought of you finally getting the hell out of my house for good. My mind couldn't handle anything else at the moment. Yeah, you heard it right. But let me make something clear. It's actually you who needs to move out, not me. So, what are you waiting for? Hurry up and get out of my house. I'm not going to wait around forever. To be honest, I don't have much time to waste, Janessa. Especially in dealing with a wicked witch like you. What are you even blabbering about? Seriously, I don't get it. Why the heck should I move out? You're the wretched woman who cheated on my son. So it's your sorry ass that needs to get out of here. No, Janessa. You lied to him about me having an affair just to get rid of me. That's precisely why you have to move out. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I told Nicholas the truth, and he was furious. He made it clear that he won't tolerate your deceitful ways any longer. So he instructed you to move out as soon as possible. Can't you see? No one wants you here. Not even your own son. So you better understand your place and leave while Nicholas is still being somewhat civil. I can't guarantee what will happen if he completely loses it. Hey, who the hell do you think you are to boss me around like that, you sickly pig? I bet my son just didn't fully grasp the situation because you're intentionally keeping quiet about carrying that deadly disease in your body. Don't worry. I'll just expose everything to him and hand over those test results of yours. Once he sees the truth, his attitude will do a complete 180. And he'll be more than eager to kick you out of the house. I'm damn sure of it. Well, here's some bad news for you. Nicholas already knew about my condition. And despite that, he chose to stand by my side because he loves me. In fact, he even apologized to me for believing the nonsense you fed him instead of listening to the truth from my perspective. Not only that, Nicholas made a promise to make it right by asking you to move out. Because, apparently, no sane person would want to live with a liar and home wrecker like you. What on earth did you just say? So Nicholas knows that you're dying and yet he still decided to stick around? Is he out of his mind? Tell me. What kind of nonsense did you fill his head with to turn him into a lunatic like this? I gotta say, what you're telling me doesn't make any sense whatsoever. What's so hard to comprehend about families sticking together during tough times? Well, I guess it only makes no sense to those who grovel at the feet of someone with money and power, only to abandon them like a worthless sack when they've down and out. And you, Janessa, definitely fall into the category. But hey, you have breast cancer, don't you? Shouldn't you be dead by now? I mean, it's not like cancer is curable or anything, right? Having cancer practically guarantees death. No one can escape it. So what's the damn point of keeping a dying rat around in the family? Janessa, what century are you stuck in? Having cancer doesn't automatically equate to death. Sure, it's a serious illness. But countless people have fought against cancer and come out victorious. Besides, my breast cancer is in the early stages, so the chances of recovery are quite high. Oh, please. I don't buy a pathetic act. Once Nicholas wakes up from his delusion, he'll dump you in no time. Let's face it. Dealing with breast cancer means they'll remove a part of your breast if they want to save you. And then... You'll just be some freak that no one wants to be around. You'll be so repulsive that even Nicholas won't dare to lay his eyes on you. Nicholas and I have already discussed every possible scenario that could arise. However, none of it really matters because Nicholas loves me and he will never abandon me, no matter what you say. You can continue living in your own delusional world 
or you can wake up and face the reality. You're not welcome in this house anymore. So you might want to go back to where you came from. Oh, wait, I forgot. You don't even have a home to return anymore. <laughs> Just admit it. You already lost your house, right? Wait, seriously? How on earth do you know that? You sneaky rascal. Did you snoop around in my personal stuff or stalk me? Answer me, now. From what I heard, you fell victim to a romance scammer and lost your house and all your assets. It started with him using charming words to lure you in. Then he confessed his feelings for you and convinced you to invest in some shady cryptocurrency. And, unfortunately, you fell right into his trap and ended up losing everything. Hey, cut the crap already. I'm done listening to your nonsense. Got it. I'm gonna have a chat with my son and fill him in on how you've been bullying and mistreating me. He'll take you straight to the police for elder abuse. Mark my words. I'll make sure karma hits you hard and you spend the rest of your sorry life in misery. Nicholas is such a good little lapdog. He always listens to my every command without questioning a thing. Hey mom, it's Nicholas. I've been going through your messages here with my wife. Oh, thank the heavens you're finally here, Nicholas. You must come to my aid, my son. Your wife has been subjecting me to relentless bullying and has the audacity to demand that I leave. Divorce her immediately. She's nothing short of a wicked witch. I'm honestly shocked by the awful plan you cooked up to ruin my family. You've become unbearable, mom. I can't believe I blindly believed your lies without verifying the facts first. I'm going to make things right with my wife, and that starts with asking you to leave my house. It's already been four days since I gave you the notice. I think that should be ample time for you to gather your belongings and find a new place to live, don't you? What? You're actually kicking me out of the house, Nicholas? I can't believe this. I'm your own mother. For crying out loud, throwing your own parent out is downright criminal. You better believe it. Oh, really? And what about deceiving your own child to manipulate him into divorcing his wife? Don't you think that's a crime in itself? But, um, I didn't mean it, alright? I just wanted to do what I thought was best for you, you know? What's best for me? Or what's best for you? You were all pumped up and enthusiastic about booting my wife out just so you could find me some wealthy replacement, huh? That's just plain selfish and downright repulsive. Listen, Janessa, I don't want to have any more conversations with you. So do me a favor and get out of my house immediately. You have no idea how angry I am at the moment. Oh, come on, Nicholas. Seriously, I'm your mother, so you should listen to me instead of some random stranger like Monica. She's just a lying witch on her deathbed. She's not worth her time. You know it. You've got a bright future ahead, so why not ditch her and find yourself a wife who's actually worth a damn? Trust your dear old mama on this one. Listen, I don't want to waste any more of my precious time listening to you. It's about time you started packing your bags and found yourself a new place to live. I've had enough of dealing with your nonsense. Wait, hold up. Are you really abandoning me? Your good old mom? Don't you know I've got no other place to live? Come on, can you let me stay at your house? And in return, I promise to apologize to your wife, okay? Cross my heart. I'll even go the extra mile and handle all the boring housework. Hey, Nicholas, are you there? Are you still paying attention to your mom? Nicholas! Once Nicholas fully supported my decision to ask Janessa to leave, her face turned pale with shock. She begged us to let her stay in the house, but despite her efforts, we didn't budge. Eventually, she reluctantly accepted her faith and left my house, bitter and resentful. Later on, Janessa found shelter in a homeless facility and struggled to make ends meet with the part-time jobs. However, her resentment towards me remained deeply ingrained, leading her to send us hateful letters from time to time. After a few instances, we decided to involve the police, 
ensuring she could never come near us again. Throughout the entire ordeal, Nicholas stood by my side, providing unwavering support. I'm thrilled to say that I'm now cancer-free and I can focus on living a positive life, cherishing every moment I share with my husband, Nicholas.